Hi, I'm Chaco Vadaken. I'm on the jury of the Law and Justice Film Festival organized by AMEC in conjunction with its Council of the Year Award. And it's, it's a great honor to be on the jury. And it's meant that I've had a chance to watch some fantastic films, documentaries, short films, uh, and uh, TV series, all dealing with legal issues, interesting legal issues as well, from how to get away with murder, to the O.J. Simpson trial, to uh, the Cambodian film by Angelina Jolie, First They Killed My Father. So they've been fascinating films. A lot of them have dealt with issues that we've all read about and heard about, and it drives into the depth of it and looks at how lawyers work with clients, deal with opponents, deal with different issues uh, of evidence taking, how to get the right case for their clients to investigate. But the, the lawyers play a very significant and important role to ensure that everything goes smoothly, that the different participants have their rights protected. And as an actor, uh, as a former lawyer, as a voiceover artist, uh, I appreciate the important work that lawyers do in ensuring that a production goes on smoothly and that uh, the audience can enjoy the end product. Bill, Arnold and I, the co-founders of AMEC, we made it our mission to educate the industry on the key role attorneys play to keep the business moving, close deals, and make sure that everyone in the process stays out of trouble. I like to think we've achieved that. An evening like this was simply unheard of a few years ago. Today, we are celebrating the achievements of an extremely talented and remarkable group of attorneys and business executives who, like prior honorees, have been singled out by their peers. From our first days of building support for this concept, AMEC has grown tremendously. Over the years, we've also attracted the support of major sponsors, including PricewaterhouseCoopers, HSBC Bank, the Judicial Arbitration and Mediation Service, and Icelandic Water. In addition, we're very thankful to the top law firms, agencies, guilds, and other global AMEC supporters who have sponsored and purchased tables for this event. Please can we also give a round for all of them. As AMIC was getting off the ground, when you spoke to the entertainment industry, you were pretty much limited to film and television. As you look at the companies represented here tonight, at this year's ceremony, you recognize just how dynamic and diverse the industry has become. It's been over a decade of achievement and excellence as we honor key players who are rarely recognized and thanks for their efforts. The attorneys of the media and entertainment industry. So please all enjoy the show as we celebrate all of you this evening. Thank you. Been awarded this this award, and I don't mean that in a, as a pleasantry or as a throwaway line. I really mean that. Now. In closing, I'd like to pay a special tribute to four people who have been instrumental to my success. The first is my phenomenal mother. The second is my brother William James. The third is my dear friend and advisor Don Lockery. And last but not least, my boss Michael Riley. Thank you for this honor. Thank you so much for this award. It is greatly appreciated, and I will carry it along as I continue this tradition of mentorship. I'd like to thank Amec, uh, Arnold, Bill, and the other founders and the board uh, for this amazing honor. It truly is um, a surprise, um, but one that I humbly um, accept. I've got them all, and I've got the bucket, and we'll clean up the mess, and that's what we do. And I really want to thank the people who helped me do that today. Uh, Robert Gasper, who's in the office now. When Arnold and I were communicating about this award, he uh, passed along a comment to me, and he said that Amec got amazing feedback on the fact that I'm a genuinely kind person 
who likes to give it forward. And that comment means the most to me. Thank you again for this award, and I really appreciate it. This is truly an honor to be on stage here at this event, being honored with so many wonderful leaders and people that I can look up to here. And I guess in the best traditions of our craft, future opportunities to work together, where we can collaborate, challenge each other, and, and ultimately find the best outcomes for our clients, and, and hopefully have some fun along the way. So anyways, thank you everybody, and, and I really appreciate it. Finally, and most importantly, I want to thank my family, um, my wife Heidi, my sons Griffin and Lachlan, uh, and they've been there, and they're patient, and they understand, and I think they see the fruits of that. But they make it all worthwhile. And so I thank you, uh, I thank AMEC again, and uh, thank you very much. Uh, over the years, both networking and professional development opportunities I've gotten through AMEC um, been of great value, and uh, so I want to thank the board and the founders, uh, not just for the award, but just for being there and for starting this group, because I think it does a lot for uh, those of us here in the business. Uh, just a reminder that every age is the right age for a music concert. And whenever I hear people say, I'm too old to go, I was like, that's nonsense. You know, from Katy Perry to Rolling Stones, there's a, there's a band for you. And uh, just encourage you to um, get out to the shows. More and more people are. And um, thanks so much for the award. I will see you at the concert. And it is so rewarding to be the voice that protects those intellectual property assets, those voiceless assets. So on behalf of Kenobi Martins, it is my pleasure to accept this reward from AMAC. And I thank all of our peers and colleagues that nominated us to this award. It's a true honor. And we hope to build on this and continue to serve the community. Thank you. I think there's still a desire among members of the entertainment bar to, to try to make deals that work. And uh, I admire that, and I love it. And I, I am so appreciative for this award. Uh, I want to thank you again. I want to thank all of you, frankly. Uh, for giving me this opportunity and the honor that you've shown me, and I truly appreciate it. So thank you very much. It is my honor to say a huge thank you to all of you. It was and still is the unwavering dedication of lawyers like each of you in this room who work tirelessly in the face of injustice, acting as a voice for others that allowed their story and as a result, our film, to deliver a simple message, a human rights message, and that is that everyday ordinary people can change the world. Thank you. And part of that dream uh, has brought me here to be before you, um, to be among some of the, the top people in the industry. I look forward to hopefully working with some of you someday. Thank you very much for this, and thank you very much to Angeliki uh, for um, bringing me into this uh, fold. Again, have a great night. It's an honor to have served as a uh, juror uh, on this uh, case as a trial judge and a superior court, uh, Supreme Court judge and a U.S. ambassador, now with now a mediator and arbitrator with uh, Jams. I picked uh, 300 juries, but I've never served on one, so this was the first. <laughs> so, thank you. Thank you. And uh, this show actually received 22 Emmy nominations. And so you've recognized a show that is absolutely the show that deserves this award. So thank you very much. I want to take this time to thank AMEC for the work that you do, because what you do here, the important work that you do here, serves to improve our relation and improve our perception of the public as a whole. So on behalf of the casting crew of Manhunt, I want to thank AMEC and I want to thank you for this award.